here, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Wednesday, August 10th, 2011. After four days, hundreds of arrests, and 16,000 police roaming the streets, the riots across the UK have finally started to settle. Twitter and social media being blamed for spawning the violence as gangs of thugs were texting plans to meet, loot, riot, and throw down in London and across the UK. So what spawned all the madness? Police shot and killed a drug dealer armed with a phony gun loaded with real bullets, so says the New York Post. Anonymous is back at it this time. They have vowed to destroy Facebook on November 5th. Interest rates will stay near zero through 2013. That decision by the feds tempered the markets and end of day trading finished on an up note. Warren Jeffs, welcome to prison. Now enjoy your lifetime stay for sexually assaulting two teenage girls. A Maryland woman is missing in Aruba. Q. Natalie Holloway Deja Vu. Her travel partner has been taken into custody. Apple has just passed Exxon as the most valuable company in the U.S. The IRS is showing no love to gay marrieds, neither will divorce lawyers, P.S. Oklahoma and Florida have set up mandatory drug testing for welfare recipients. A courtroom comfort dog is at the center of a lawsuit in New York State. The dog is used as a way to de-stress rape victims on the stand while they recount their experience. The adults-only ice cream truck compliments of Dove could be coming to a town near you. Manicures, massages, and Dove bars. Oh my. And rumor has it Charlie Sheen will die a violent death at the hands of women on the season opener of Two and a Half Men. Ah, the sweet pen of revenge a la Hollywood. That's your Wednesday morning wake up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.